Yo, what's going on all my friends? It's your boy MX back with another video and what you just saw was me basically getting straight up shafted by the Destiny servers. Been waiting all day to get on and play at 11 o'clock when the update was supposed to be done. I log in, it says the server is full and it's what's going to put me in a queue. So I waited in the queue just to find out that the servers were still offline so fuck my life. But fret not. I am back on the Destiny servers, and now that that's out of the way, we can get into today's video. Now, today's video is going to be a pretty important one, I feel. Um, especially with Trials of the Nine coming up, you're going to want to load up on gear and get your level up and get those exotics. And that's exactly what today's video is going to be. I'm going to go and show you guys, tell you guys, share with you the best method that I have found for getting exotic engrams, legendary engrams, and just getting that level up as high as you could possibly get it in the shortest amount of time possible. The first thing you're gonna wanna do on your journey to get your light up there is you're gonna wanna get at least one other friend, two preferably, three even more preferably. The bigger the group, the better, because you're gonna be going to the EDZ and you're gonna be farming public events and you're gonna want all the help you can get so you can fly through them and the more people you have, the faster and easier it's gonna go. Now after you've got your entire fire team assembled of one other friend or a few friends or whatever you got, um, you're going to want to go ahead and go to your director and you're going to click Earth and fly to the nearest possible public event you can get to and you're going to want to finish that and fly through it as fast as you can and rinse and repeat. Now when you do the public events you're going to want to make sure that you activate the heroic mode. The heroic mode is basically something that you do to trigger a different event. It usually spawns a larger boss or kind of changes the objective of the public event. Now these events offer much more rewards. You get more glimmer, you get more tokens to turn in, and you get more exotic engrams. That's for sure. You get a better chance of better loot, which is great. There's been multiple times where I've completed a real public event. I've gotten a legendary and an exotic engram in the same drop. So the drop rates are pretty great for this public event but in the end it is RNG you might not be lucky but eventually if you keep playing you will get an exotic and many more to come now heroic public events are not only the best way to farm because of the drop rates but because of what you get also to add on you get more glimmer which is great glimmer is always needed to buy those mods and get your level up but not just that you actually get tokens as you know your planetary material and you get to turn that in into whatever NPC is there on that planet that you're on for the EDZ. It's going to be Devram K. You go in, turn those into him, and you keep getting his engrams, and he gives you some pretty powerful stuff, so you should be able to level up quickly, and you can also get exotic drops from his engrams. So just exotic opportunities all over the place. You get his legendary gears, and that legendary gear is going to boost your level and get you some sweet loot in the long run, which is absolutely a win-win so go into these heroic public events and farming them with a fire team you could do this solo too it'll just take a little bit longer in the end because you'll be in situations where there won't always be other teammates to help you out along the way so having a fire team just guarantees that there's going to be people there to help you at all times so yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys just a couple of quick tips for you guys and uh, hopefully you do go out into the edz or nessus is a good one too and uh, farm these events because it's going to get you ready for the raid, which is coming up within the next few hours, actually. Uh, so if you need some last-minute gear to maybe get you to at least 260 to play. Uh, but keep in mind, this method does not work so well for getting you past 265. Uh, you're going to ma mainly need to get the packages for 265 and above because blue gear will stop dropping for you. Um, but that's not too big of a deal because getting up to 260, that's going to be the minimum light requirement for the raid. And you should be able to hit that fairly easily doing this method. And you also add some exotics to your inventory as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did drop a like, leave a comment down below and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.